So, I lost the bet. As you can tell by the Sharks logo. Um, for those of you who don't know, I'm a pretty diehard Canucks fan. Yeah. I ended up making a bet last night. You know, team was looking really good. And ended up making a bet about halfway through the third period that the Canucks would win and loser had to make a minute long video and change their flair. And well, it's looking good, looking good. Then Couture had to score in the shootout. I mean, kind of helped my fantasy team at least if that's any bright spot. But so part of the punishment, rocking the uh, San Jose Sharks flair. The other part is a minute long video on. Ryan Close skill. Yeah, I don't know how I'm going to do this. So I guess let's start a timer and we'll try to do this. He's got to be good at something. I mean, what's he, what's he good at? I mean, like, I don't even, I don't even know where to start. I mean, he doesn't even spell his name right. I mean. I guess maybe the E stands for excellent at the end of Ryan. I don't, I don't know. We'll go with that. So the E at the end of Ryan stands for excellent because you know he's just an excellent player overall, one of the best players on the San Jose Sharks. I would say, um, you know, if you need a guy to log about 500 penalty minutes in a year, you know you can count on him. He'll get about 50 to 100 penalty minutes or hits, but probably more like 100 or so. Um, yeah, if you want a guy to stir up crap from the penalty box, he's going in there and he's going to yell and scream and slash the boards until he gets 10, 10 in a game for yelling at the refs because he thinks they're on their knees and they're blowing the game. Um, you know, great overall team player. You know, He's been known in the past to chip in goals, but his, that's kind of gone right now. But I'm sure it'll come back. I mean, like 50 points for a few years isn't exactly a fluke. And you have to be pretty good to do that. Also, he has a pretty good temper, too. Like, if you need a guy after one of your key players gets injured, like, say someone took a run at Marlowe, he's going to go out there and he's going to beat him like it. his ex-girlfriend just cheated on him. Pretty sure he's going to do that. And you don't want to get in a fight with him because he's going to absolutely destroy you. Um, is that almost a minute? That's pretty much all I got. I, I, can't, I can't think of anything else. It's not quite a minute. I mean, I guess other than he's a team player because he fights for his team. Um, he likes to he likes to fight. Like I like I said before, he does like to fight. I mean, he's got he's got some pretty good fists in a fight. Um, you know, he gets tons and tons of penalty minutes. You know, like like I said, he likes to start some stuff from the penalty box, get the refs mad at him, and maybe they'll rethink some of their calls and call it more towards the Sharks' favor. Um, you know, maybe that works for him. Um, you know, he's he's a Newfie, so, I mean, Newfies are pretty awesome, I'm not going to lie. I mean, he might go and play some more hockey, but, I mean, he's a pretty good hockey player. Um, but, yeah, uh, he's probably one of the few Newfies, probably maybe one of the best Newfies ever in the NHL, dare, dare I say it. I mean, like, he does have some good points totals from past years. I mean, he's he's shown he can play with, like, Thornton and Marlowe in them. But um, And I guess the last thing, I mean, even though he's goalless this year, we all know he's going to break out in, like, a 10-goal game with about five of them between the legs. Um, he's going to go in, do some spin deeks. He's going to plow through some guys. Uh, it will be better than Ovechkin's goal on Phoenix where he's falling down, the Malkin's two goals against Tampa Bay, and Malik's shootout winning goal combined. That's how good his first goal of the season is going to be. It is going to blow your mind when it happens, and you're just going to sit there like... That's all I got for him. Um, yeah. 